Hey there, this is Stan, K9SWX, and today we're going to be talking about APRS on Android using an FT65R and a MobileLink TNC3. So if you saw my last video, uh, I discussed the uh, FT65R, the TNC3, using an iPhone and an iPad, um, which worked pretty well. And I got a couple comments on that video asking if I could do the same for Android. So I dug out my old Android tablet, and sure enough, it works, and I'm going to show you how I did it. So the first thing is you need the Yaesu FT65R. It's a nice little $100 dual band radio from Yaesu. Um, pretty basic, but it, it has uh, uh, a lot of neat little features. But for our purposes, we're going to be hooking it up to the MobileLink TNC3. Now, they don't make that anymore, that model. You can, you can buy them used, but um, they've replaced it with the TNC4, which works the same way. Pretty much does the same thing. has a few additional things, but for our purposes, um, it's just the same, same thing. So um, I will put all the links in the description below uh, for all of this stuff. But uh, you need the Yaesu 65, the MobileLink TNC 3 or 4, and the appropriate cable. This is the cable I use, the 2-pin TNC cable. Uh, works with the 65, 25, etc., and then you'll also need for the Android, I'm using an Android tablet, an older one, uh, you'll need the MobileLink D TNC config app, which you can get through the Play Store. And you'll also need APRS Droid, which is the awesome little APRS program for Android. And there's two ways to get this. You can go through, uh, you can go to APRSDroid.org, or you can go to the Google Play Store and support the author um, and it's like 495 or something it's very affordable um, but if you just want to experiment you can download the file the, the apk file from the website so i've already done all that so i'm going to jump over to the tablet here and check out a few things so the first thing we're going to do is go into settings and we want to get into the Bluetooth settings because we need to pair the TNC3. Now, I've already got it paired, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to unpair it or forget it here. Forget. And then I'm going to turn on the TNC3 by just poking the button. You'll see the little light come on. Now, we should see it show up here. Let me refresh my list here. Okay, there's the TNC3. I'm going to tap on that. Pairing. Shouldn't take too long. All right, so we've got the, the device paired. So now we are going to jump back to the MobileLink TNC uh, config app. And there's that. You want to hit connect. And then... There's our TNC3, so we're going to tap on that, and there we go. We've got our, uh, it's connected. So one thing about this, I don't know if it's my version, my old Android. If I hit audio output settings, it crashes. So I guess, at least on mine, maybe it's because I've got a really old Android tablet, but we'll skip that setting. So let's go to the audio input settings. This is really the one you need to mess, oops. Got to reconnect. Okay. Okay, so let's go to audio input settings. All right, I'm going to turn the radio on. And you'll start to see the bar here. And what you want to do is get it real close to the edge there without going to that last. See, I've got it too much now. Let me turn it down just a tad. And that's probably not enough here. All right, let's start with that. That's what they recommend. And you got to have the squelch opened on the FT65R. It's got to be wide open, no, no squelch at all. So that looks good. Uh, let's go to the power settings. Well, that's just the battery level of the TNC3. Um, 
This is what I've got here. I think it's just the standard stuff. Uh, modem settings, obviously 1200 baud. And there's that. And then you want to, if you change anything, just go ahead and hit save. And there's that. So when you're done with that, you want to hit disconnect. Okay. And then you go back to APRS Droid. And let me go to the main. All right, that's what it probably comes up as because you haven't set it up yet. So we're going to go over here and you go to preferences. And this is what we really need. Besides your call, okay, we'll start with a call sign here. Um, obviously, that's my call sign, but you put yours in there. And then the SSID is... Uh, whatever you want it to be. It's either one. You, you don't even have to have one if you don't want to. But for my purposes, I'm doing five. Um, you can do seven. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. But I'd probably do five or seven. Um, and then the digi path I'm using is wide one one comma wide two dash one. That's pretty standard for little HT. And then here is the connection preferences. This is what um, you really need to do to get it to talk to the TNC3. Um, so you hit connection protocol, and I'm using TNC KISS. So that's what works for me. And then I didn't mess with any of this other stuff. So we'll leave that alone. back. Now I'm going to hit start tracking and then it starts the connection. Okay, now it's connected to the TNC, so that's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my oops, I'm going to use my FT5 here to send a message. I'm going to try not to do this, so I block it here. Uh, let's see here, here, and I think I have it in here somewhere. Yeah, now my eight, my uh, FT five is running K nine SWX dash seven, so I'm going to send a message to K nine SWX dash five. So let's hit that, and I've already hit testing. I was doing this earlier to make sure it worked. Uh, let's see. Let's clear. No, well, that's not what I wanted. Let me back out of that. Forgot which button. Oh, reply. Here we go. And then, well, we're just going to hit transmit here. And I'm going to try this here. Hopefully, I don't blow anything up. I've got both on low power, but they're kind of right next to each other. Whoops, somebody else sent something. All right, here we go. Oops, sending. So we saw it show up, and then we saw a acknowledgement come back to the radio. So that's pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to do, put that over there. And we are going to go into messages on the tablet. Okay, already got kind of a test going here. So I'm going to type on the tablet, and I'm going to hit send. And as soon as I do that, you should see it show up on the FT5, since it's a direct message. So the FT5 is blinking, saying, hey, somebody just sent you a message. And then it sends an acknowledgement back. Let's see if that... See if that went through. So there we go. That's pretty slick. Um, so you can, you know, you can send messages with this thing. It's got a map on it. Let's pull the map up. And zoom out a bit. I've only got a couple stations I picked up so far. The the Digipeter, which is well, the iGate slash Digi fill in Digi is like a mile away from me. So there's that. So yeah, I mean that's uh, 
that's pretty much it for the Android uh, setup. And again, I've got this old this is an RCA tablet, Android tablet. Um, I don't even know what version of Android it's running. I was actually shocked that it actually worked. I didn't even know it had Bluetooth. So. <laughs> um, pretty nifty. So uh, there you go. So let me know in the comments section below if you have any questions about this whole setup. And I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any other questions, ham radio related, put them in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and make sure to ding my bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks again and 73 from K9SWX.